Hello, Amundsen's class. Hello, Mr. Klein. It is so good to have you in class today. Let's talk about multiples and least common multiples. Uh, can you find the least common multiple of two numbers? Yes. Okay, a multiple has another name. Another name for a multiple could be a? Product. Just product, right? Multiple product, same thing. Uh, what are, okay, so this is a multiplication problem, yes? What are these numbers called again? Factors. And what is this number called? Product or a multiple, right? So is four a, I mean, sorry, is 12 a product of four? Does four go into 12? Yes. Is 12 a product or a multiple of three? Yes. Yeah, three, six, nine, 12, right? Yes. Uh, what is that, uh, what is the abbreviation for least common multiple? LPM. All right, so here we go. Look at just this number four. So I gave you the number four, yes? yes? And I said, hey class, find the first five multiples of four. So what is the first multiple of four? Because you multiplied by what? One. What's the second multiple of four? Because you multiplied by what? Two. What's the third multiple of four? Because you multiplied by? Three. Okay, so I just keep on keeping on, right? What is the one hundredth multiple of four? Four hundred. It's just four times a hundred, right? Yeah, so here's another example. Six, so obviously six times one is six. Six times two is twelve. Six times three is eighteen. That's my multiples, yes? Okay. And then what do, we, what do we call this method where we, like, extend the number... What are we making here? Snakes. We're just making snakes, right? Snakes uncoil when they slither around, blah, blah, blah. That's how we find multiples. All right, so the big skill here, though, is finding the LCM, which is least common multiple, yes? yes? So if I find the first five multiples of four, and I find the first five multiples of six, and I put them right on top of each other, like Kinsley says, it makes them really easy to, to compare, fine, right? So does four, so my first multiple of four is four, right? Does six have a multiple of four? Yes or no? no. Does it have a multiple of eight? Does six have a multiple of eight? No. Does six have a multiple of 12? Yes. Ah, I just found the smallest number that four and six both have as a multiple, right? Yes. What is it? Twelve. What happens if I find the first five multiples of a number and I find the first five multiples of the other number, but none of them work? What do I add? How many more do I add on? Three. You just keep adding three more, right? We good? You can read about Zoe and Trey hitting home runs, but this is another way of why we would actually know how to do this, because if you read that word problem, I'm not going to go do it with you, but it would make sense um, why multiples are used there, yes? Yes. Yes, cool? Yes. 